Yeah. Uh, <laughs> section. The section now. Uh, okay. okay, go ahead. Okay, so uh, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, Dr. Kim. Uh. Uh -huh. I think uh, from Korea, right? Yes, Korea. Uh, from Korea. Uh, we just got this uh, info from our colleague, uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Chris, yeah. uh, regarding your, you know, your technology. And uh, I suppose you want to share with us today. Right. So <laughs> how it works, and maybe uh, it will be a benefit to all of us. Yeah, okay. actually, so maybe uh, I can pass uh, to Chris to say something first. Okay. And then we'll pass to you. Sure. Over to you. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming, Dr. Rio, to your team. Uh, Galvin for also helping us to arrange this. And OT. This is uh, from eLearning Minds. So we have already contacted them to do some of the uh, online courses. I think four of them are now. But we, uh, we want to see probably more coming in the future. But with the more requests is coming and we need newer technologies to help us build faster uh, and more, I would say, changi, uh, yeah, that was very, uh, very uh, interesting uh, to capture the, the audiences that we want to go online. But the last thing we want is people say online is boring. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we bring the, the online experience as close as possible to classroom experience. Mm -hmm. So what uh, Dr. Leo Kim is going to be demonstrating to you is how we can use technology like this uh, to actually shorten the time to develop online courses. What usually takes uh, an online course up is about six months to nine months. Uh, let's say a 50 page slide will take about six months to nine months. Uh, they have now done, and I've done work with them a couple of times already. They've done uh, as fast as two months, or I think later so three months, right, Jordan? Yeah. Uh, and this is like a, uh, again, that's like the same amount of time. Right? Uh, now we're not looking at com complex kind of online courses like uh, simulations. Uh, I don't know whether this is able to handle that or not. Uh, I'm going to just uh, push the bus to Dr. Liu, uh, and uh, he will explain to us. Right, so we're trying. Uh, what we're trying to do is, what we're trying to do is also trying to introduce newer technologies, so we are open to this of uh, technologies. Okay. Uh, Doctor Liu, we just pass it time. Okay. So uh, now, when you are uh, watching here, it's actually watching to everybody in the world. Okay. Uh, I don't know what uh, bandwidth I'm using, but uh, basically now 4G, 3G is enough for broadcasting from one place to unlimited people over the world using, for example, Facebook or uh, any YouTube. So my, my notebook here is not so powerful, but anyway, I'm showing how we do make a smart presentation, which means any smartphone, they can watch the same thing what you are watching here. So right now, when we make such kind of an environment, it looks like a virtual classroom. Mm. So every people who is outside of KL, they feel they are in this virtually in this classroom, so they can feel they are joining, they are watching together. Yeah. This is what we are trying to bring the uh, smart world to make a smart classroom. The smart classroom. Now I'm defining the classroom from the smart devices. As you know, everybody watching lesson from smart device, but still, none of the people thinking the classroom can be smart. So everybody in outside the classroom can watch this video from everywhere in the world. Mm. So today, uh, for example, now I, I show here, you see here we have uh, uh, many people watching from Korea, uh, the Mr. Lim from the Hanyang University mm -hmm. professor, mm -hmm. and many people now joining because I didn't, I didn't mention Hiroshi Yamada from, from Japan. So Korea and my, my friends now, uh, who has the time, he's joining to listen my my speech. And after that, everybody can watch. And same time, now we have uh, uh, here, the Kelvin. Yeah, using my mobile phone. A mobile phone. On Zoom. Uh, which means... Uh, so that means uh, other classroom, as long as they have a Zoom connection, mm -hmm. they can make a bi-directional communication. So simply from one machine, if you use a notebook for your presentation, you make an output like this, which makes more beautiful. Actually, uh, I am slightly skinner here. I make a four to three from the 16 to nine. <laughs> 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 Every cosmetic things we can do, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, 
uh, this way. So now we have a scene like this. This is a virtual virtual camera action which we make a uh, pattern the year 2004. Without using real camera zooming, we make a virtual camera. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing here is we, we just make a, a studio. So from this studio, we are providing you the tools how you change the studio very quickly. For example, if I if I make uh, this kind of wall, immediately my studio become different. Yeah. If I make this way, we have another studio there. You can wall. be everywhere. Everywhere. So yeah, this yeah. is what Line exactly. Yeah. This is a London background. <laughs> right. Uh, after yeah. after okay. we have uh, this, we bring virtual electric whiteboard. So for classroom, it's defined where they have a blackboard uh, yeah. or any uh, presenting material showing there. So now I'm bringing two virtual electric whiteboard where you can show whatever you want. For example, now I want to show here the PowerPoint. And then I just go here to click PowerPoint. So immediately PowerPoint is like coming out. Mm -hmm. So there we can uh, explain about my PowerPoint. As soon as I moved up my pointer here, mm -hmm. it automatically brings. The oh. presenter don't have any auto buttons zoom, right? switching. Yeah, auto, oh, automatic yeah. switching. Yeah. There's some AI yeah, yeah. elements uh, built in. Yeah, yeah so uh, this one actually they can operate from here, like a pointer. Ah. Same thing they can do. If they make a next slide, you see this time no blackboard in the classroom. Oh, More than 4,500 years, nobody has a blackboard in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And blackboard. And about 10 years we use a a projector and yeah, also yeah. TV screen so there. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, already, yeah. already we have smart world. So it's time for us to make a presentation to the smart device in the every every peoples over the world. So I'm trying to show how we make a smart presentation from from a note from a computer. Of course, if you have a good computer, you can have much better function here. Mm. So you can do simultaneously broadcasting using YouTube, using Facebook, using Cultura platform, whatever you can do, uh, basically by software. So now I'm, I'm claiming that all the uh, e-learning content from studio, from the switch, mix switch and mix the base one, is, is not possible for make a self presentation. We are trying to bring presentation direct to the smart device. So, <laughs> yeah. So what, what I'm claiming here is still the smart class does make from every classroom, every meeting rooms. So all the, this uh, automatic uh, scrolling from the PowerPoint, if you make a PowerPoint note, this machine has, uh, each slide has a different note can come out to summarize what you are talking in the presentation. So tele presentation. Now I am here Tele Malaysia, Telecom, which means Tele means we have to put smart presentation onto your Tele Malaysia smart presentation uh, generation. So now what I'm showing here is the way I'm doing using iStudio to show this video to outside, to here or to other classroom. I, I believe uh, Malay Malaysia Telecom has uh, many, many offices in over the world. And then once you do now, everybody can watch there. And once they have a Zoom connection or Skype connection, you can make one more screen where all the people can bi-directional talking there. So uh, the important thing I'm claiming is watching iStudio class. As you are watching here, you are not watching my PowerPoint only, you are watching mixed virtual classroom there is better than listening at the local class. So you can imagine you are watching this one and same video they can show in every other classroom, every other meeting offices. So if you look at the uh, Cisco telepresence, they show presenting people in another TV and PowerPoint here. But we are combining this th there. So once you uh, have, uh, uh, for example, uh, once you have uh, uh, this kind of machine, which can make a real time easier we use and then better uh, uh, presentation than conventional way of showing PowerPoint. <laughs> and also everything except uh, the, uh, the point operation is made by the machine. So this is what 
very important thing you are, you are watching. This is the first time we are trying to make a smart class from Malaysia to other world. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm very honored to have this okay, time good. in Malay Telecom. Yeah. So I hope to put that kind of machine everywhere so you can pumping out their brain, mm. their information on the cloud service so Malay Telecom can uh, propagate this one all over the world. So uh, this, uh, this uh, technology now here is basically the, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, the virtual class, we have an electric virtual uh, whiteboard, mm -hmm. we have virtual camera and smart PD, which means no operator for this machine. Okay. These are the things I'm, I'm bringing here. So uh, this, this method, is actually I call the smart lecture, smart class. So the uh, iStudio is a smart lecturing device, I mean software, mm -hmm. and also it makes a smart class, which means we can use this one in the live lecture. So for every machine do recording while teacher is doing presenting. Okay. So now I'm bringing another uh, presentation method. It's like a people use a mm. PowerPoint and Blackboard. Now I'm using this one we call smart class in the classroom. So th this screen automatically going out like this, and then other people like uh, Kevin are watching this presentation from his smartphone. So this, this message is I'm trying to propagate all over the world. So we can change the way of presentation from classroom, from meeting room, any uh, home. The teacher don't have to be here because it, as long as they have the same video showing in any place, why the teacher should be at class? why students should be at the classroom. Once they meet, they have to talk, not only listening in the classroom, but they can do uh, communication, question and answer. This is a basic philosophy of flipped learning. So uh, this is a basic idea I'm trying. So we have a three product line, eStudio, very simple software for every notebook, and iStudio 200, which is MStudio, which I'm using now. Uh, and also we have very professional studio for iStudio. Mm -hmm. So once you have uh, iStudio, it's like you have a good furniture. Once you buy, mm -hmm. you, can, you have to leave this one with five years. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm proposing any method for you to use. It's like iStudio is uh, more than enough actually. So we can install this one in every place. So every valuable presentation place like this room, you have all the time. Imagine you have a same machine here. He just use uh, only, only mouse pointer. So they can make a beautiful presentation there. And once you do presentation, the presentation video is stay. It can show everywhere, anytime, any any people. Is pre-installed as a MP4 or? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can install. Uh, we can make MP4 recording right now. Okay. And same time, Facebook recording on their server, right, right. YouTube also. So the first thing is once you. I, I know we can. We can. We can broadcast. Yeah. Are we able to record the broadcast? Yes. 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 Yeah. Right now, I'm doing recording. Yeah. Because you know that if we do it for, if we do a special set of training, uh, especially like product or whatever, to last out. Because when the product usually uh, take us about months mm. before we can get up to anyone kind of thing. So imagine now if we do this in a matter of a week, a week kind of thing. Everyone goes, and if those who miss it, they can go back and then listen to it again and yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. And then we have, uh, we don't have to bring everybody to one place. The temple. Another thing is also we have sometimes we have sharing session, and most of the times it's only here. Yeah. Everybody in the north, south, east of Malaysia, they all feel like they're all left out because they, I think that's where they're thinking right now, they're all feeling left out. But if you're able to broadcast to them real time, that means they're actually attending training as well. So that, that will also reach out to them. So they're not forgotten anymore. In other yeah. words, we can have to miss their real online class. Yeah. The other one is record where the participant can review. Yes. Actually, it's three. It's uh, view, mm. record, mm. and view and record. And <laughs> so can yes. And also bi-directional with right. other classroom. So once you have another monitor, you can show multiple class there. So whenever they have a question, immediately they talk. Mm. And that, that video we can put in here. It's like I'm switching to Kevin. So Kevin is showing here with a, it's a Zoom. So that way we can make all the... Uh, so can you show on the communication part how yes. the instructor yes. and the... Yes, exactly. Communicate yes. right. in real time? Yeah. 
So now we have a Zoom connection to his mm -hmm. uh, mobile. So and then the mobile, uh, his uh, video, we can bring here. It's like I'm bringing the classroom here. So virtually we can make a unlimited class together. So imagine you have a four window in, in another big screen. We can divide this one four or whatever the Zoom screen we can show. Zoom is bring unlimited people there, hundred people, whatever. And then. <laughs> This is Calvin's. Yeah. If let's say we have about 20, 20 people, so all the 20 people uh, will. Then the problem is the screen is too small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, so I mean, we can control how many screens yes. we want to. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Normally with virtual, right, I would only recommend three or four areas. You get more people in that one area. Like, for instance, if you go to Penang, 10 people can do that, that in yeah. one spot. That's okay. But yeah. when you have 10 cameras, it becomes very small kind of thing. So you want to do like north and south and east, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, however, right now, because we don't have uh, a big enough screen to capture everyone. Yeah. Um, I'm talking about maybe uh, the individual people. Yeah. So uh, maybe you can control at one time, you can rotate the screen. Nah. You can, you can. Yeah. Well, not not all that. the 20 people. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Even with that, I mean, with virtual, my experience with doing virtual over the years, right? Uh, Virtual, you can probably handle about four or five people mm -hmm. or four or five screens uh, at max. Even if the, let's say the screen can take 20, right? Mm -hmm. Human being, uh, you cannot take more than, yeah, yeah. You, and you don't want to manage that kind of thing. So you want to split to very small groups kind of thing. So, yeah, and at, least, at least we can rotate that because yeah. you need to monitor them also. Correct. So you need a, <laughs> you, when you have more people, make sure they are not split. Uh, <laughs> when you have more people, then you need more people to manage. Okay. Okay. So most of the time, the administrator can select which one you want to join. Mm -hmm. So yeah. let's say I want to show Sabah, ah, K, okay, then you can pick yeah. 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 which one you want to join. So if it, if you need that, you need let's say the fourteen, uh, then you need to at least one more admin here to just uh, monitor that and then signal the presenter K K one is speed and kind of thing. Yeah, the Zoom actually has uh, several features that any person who pick up the uh, voice, it automatically bring his face to speak so every people can watch this. So uh, now I, I have uh, uh, many uh, testings from notebook, from conference room. Uh, this is actually one of the biggest e-learning uh, conference uh, uh, Miss uh, Ms. Yu is uh, ministry, Minister of the Education in Korea. We make we make a live M Studio output there to show much beautiful. Actually, the presenter face is small, but we can use existing projector mm -hmm. screen where we can show all the things we need to show. And we bring this one in the classroom. We bring this one uh, very small uh, studio. So any any small studio like this is actually studio. <laughs> so we are not inviting presenter to the studio. But now I'm working with uh, Kevin to bring studio into your classroom. So every people they do in the classroom, we can show this one there. And after this presentation, I will show using AR method. This is VR. We can make a virtual classroom beautifully. Anyway, in case we have no chroma key there, we can use AR. I call this is a, not mixer and switcher, but I want to say AR studio. So I'll show this one uh, after this. So uh, uh, eventually, uh, we hope to have uh, for example, uh, the studio from your notebook. So personal computer become personal broadcast studio. And then you have a meeting now. All the value of meeting we can record and uh, present. So, so far everybody has a, say there is a telepresence. But what we are doing now is called telepresentation. I wrote a uh, Wikipedia because I found there's no definition of a smart class, no definition of a telepresentation because nobody believe telepresentation is possible. So I'm claiming this is the only way to make a telepresentation. What I'm claiming is what you are watching here is a different way from normal way, not PowerPoint, but mixed screen. So everybody watching there instead of watching here and there. And the same screen, we can go another uh, distance place, which means they have same exact presentation there. That's why we can define this is the way how we make a telepresentation from telepresence. So uh, this, uh, this several example I want to show. For example, here uh, we have uh, uh, the presentation from Paris. And then this, uh, this person here actually doing presentation in Paris. It's like I'm doing. And then we show this one in, the, uh, in Korea. 
So uh, really, in Korea, we just make a big screen to project on using the uh, edge branding, and everybody has more immersive way of watching this presentation. So this means the distance class actually can be better uh, than the local. So we can change uh, several things. For example, every notebook which they use for writing document, writing information, now we can use this one as a, a broadcasting station. Not only writing document only, but also we combine presenter and document together to complete presentation video, to complete the presentation classroom there. And the other one is uh, uh, we can do uh, one lecture for multiple class. Actually, unlimited class we can really do teach from one place. Then also we uh, has a lot of problem when you have a 200 people or 300 people. You can make a big screen there as like this room, but you can make a big myself for presentation people. So as long as you use this one, you can make a very big face for presenter so everybody understand their gesture, their face, their mind for the presenting in the classroom. So finally, I would say this uh, uh, tele presentation is really possible using this technology. This is what I am claiming in this industry to show. Now, the, uh, this is a notebook version, which is a, a very uh, simple one. We can make AR like this. So presenter here, thanks to God, can make a slim, slim <laughs> shape of <the> people. <laughs> so when you show from here there, they need only this part. So we can make uh, this kind of presentation here. So that is uh, uh, idea how we. Uh, so. I'm sure this is Korean world, but anyway, this is the way how, how we are doing from e studio. I will show this one after this presentation. So this is uh, uh, the video, uh, actually, e studio video. Uh, so. Good evening, Singapore. I'm Rosalia Kim from Darin, Korea. It's my honor and pleasure to introduce Kari eStudio software to you today here at Marina Bay Sands. Hope you enjoy my presentation. Finally, 4G, 5G, and smartphone era has come. In this small world, all actors are in smartphone, but not actual teachers are taking classes for those smartphones. So uh, this way, actually, uh, so we uh, we make a presentation. So instead of doing live presentation as I'm doing now, they can record and play in the classroom. There's no difference at all. So flip learning means watching video at home and coming to class to have a discussion. We give more time for students to participate in the classroom. So that's a, a, a idea we are we are trying to yeah. introduce this technology here. So we, we make uh, all the classroom. Now you see the classroom here is very boring. So we can make uh, something more valuable time when they come to the class. So the, uh, I, I won't have a presentation method here. The, the idea uh, here is uh, when, I, when, I, when I watch students and then my eye going to the camera. So my eye making virtual eye contact to all the people who is watching this. Same thing happening in other classroom, other place. Who is watching my Facebook video? Everybody watching my eye. So they are thinking I'm doing private uh, lessons to them. So that way we can change the way of presentation. I test this one in, the, uh, uh, in, in this kind of classroom. So students here watching here. Actually, this one makes a very beautiful uh, screen here. And then uh, eventually the people who are outside, they can watch like this. So basically the outside classroom has a better concentration watching this. Uh, see the multiple class I already mentioned. So the, uh, the classroom here, uh, going here, and same thing showing all the people. This, this is a, a video I really made. Korea, Sweden, collaborate teacher. class. Uh, so it's 40, uh, 4 30 p.m. here. And uh, you you remember this painting? Yes. Yeah, it, it was their team's work. And <laughs> <six seven. laughs> 
They have an audience feedback immediately. Okay. Yeah. Answer. The teacher yeah, is sitting in the really back. Like this. Uh, Whoa, they whoa. have a result immediately. Uh, which part? So uh, after several hours, they use this way for have a collaborative class. We find the students very excited because another screen showing uh, Sweden students. And in Sweden side, they have a screen from Korean side. It's just a Skype function with this. Uh, what do add on this? Uh, one of the things uh, in Malaysia, uh, UMT, the screen Malaysia Kahan, is also using iStudio. Uh, doing the same thing, they collaborate with uh, UST, one of the UST to Japan, do collaborations. So using the iStudio to interact. Of course, uh, the Japan are very impressed with the yeah. weird plan that happened because they see the virtual environment. Everything is virtual. Yeah. And Justify is very easy to classify the mountain. So, one of the ideas I'm claiming, instead of flip flip classroom, I just uh, mentioned flip teaching, which means teacher in the back. So all the way back behind the students, he, he, he's doing teaching from here, watching the up screen as uh, same uh, video from students. So they, they have a same, what students watching, the teacher can watch. And then what this students is watching can be shown in other classroom in of the world. That's the way how they make a really virtual classroom there. So uh, in this case, we can bring the uh, teacher from USA, classroom from MIT to uh, Kuala Lumpur University, everything is possible. The another problem we have to solve is uh, this problem. When they have a big audience there, always watching the face, the presenter's uh, emotion, we cannot get from this kind of conference area. As long as we have more than 200 students in the classroom, everybody has this problem. So now we are using this method. So very simply, they can uh, they can make a very beautiful way. For example, this is a video we, we made from Korea. The classroom become theater, and same thing happening in other uh, place also. So uh, this this method of presentation is really necessary for everywhere in a small room and also in a big room. They definitely have to use this one for making nicer presentation. I think the point here is also not only audience can enjoy a big nicer big screen content, but the, whatever happened is also recorded at the same time. So yeah. you don't need to get another video crew to do the <coughs> video shooting anymore. And those video shooting, most of the time, you have to do post, they have to wait for a few days of post productions. So you will not get the real time. Mm. Okay. And then of course, the other thing is also broadcast. So stream through YouTube or Facebook. So people, not, those are not in the room, are also able to enjoy the presentations. Mm. They are, they are recording video store on a local machine? Or yeah, local, local, local too. Local. Yeah, and uh, Facebook too. Now they are, they are working for me very hard. Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> 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 yeah, because live. you whatever you broadcast now, you Facebook is a recorded live. <laughs> and also, I also do a recording now on my Zoom. <laughs> yeah, so you so can have multiple <laughs> copy of the presentations. Yeah, I, I hope you create some uh, some uh, different business using uh, telecom backbone. You have uh, many universities, you have mm. uh, many conference hall, you have uh, many government uh, uh, the presentation. You can make a virtual cloud space. The only problem was there is no way to mining the information to the smartphone. Now if you use this technology, I believe you can grab all the valuable presentation which is uh, happening every place, every day. You can grab everything here and then service. So once you have 5G, 4G, you need the content to deliver more people. This is the way very easily you can go this market. Once you put this machine in every hotel, imagine, you can put this machine in every university. They connect it to 
Malay Telecom. And you can put this one in uh, MIT, for example, and everyone join for lecture there. This is a new business platform which we have to talk together. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, same thing, we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, the uh, example of the, uh, the telepresentation. So, this is uh, one of the video Saludos. The, uh, uh, from, uh, from Puerto Rico. She's doing uh, three people conference using Google Hangout. And then it doesn't matter which uh, video conference they use. You can use Zoom, Skype, Hangout, whatever. Uh, the Cisco machine doesn't matter. The only thing we are doing is we are combining presenter and presenting material and audience. This is virtually they combine. Sometimes they make it this way. It's like you are sitting here. You can sometimes watch there. You can sometimes there. So the people actually has a switcher inside in your brain. Same thing. We do this kind of switching from our screen there for audience can decide to watch. So uh, I'm, I'm claiming this is uh, really uh, making a telepresentation. He's from New York. This is my office. This is my PowerPoint. So same way, it's like we are doing. This is a way of telepresentation. So iStudio, iStudio is uh, really uh, doing telepresentation systems. Right. So, so my video is like the other classroom. Yes, you, yes. But so you're there, are, there are a thousand other. second classroom, but yeah. so there's live to one classroom, like, yeah. but then all the other classrooms are not active. Using step, isn't it? Yeah. So that time we, we doesn't have a Zoom, but anyway, they did. So the new uh, conference room, I would have two projectors bring all these people. When they talk, we make this one very big. When this guy talks, we can make this one big. So every flexibility, we can manage multiple input also from another way of uh, video world controller. So this is uh, what we are doing now. So I, I believe the uh, education presentation is time to change from blackboard to virtual electric whiteboard. I really appreciate uh, for your listening. I hope to change the world of presentation together. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe just get uh, feedback from, from your, what you guys think. Do uh, you think it's practical or not? Do you can look at it? OK, one thing I'd like to, I, I would like to bring to your attention. Do you realize that uh, 